Hey, you folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to a new episode, another episode of Hearts of Iron 4, playing Yugoslavia in the 1.4 patch, a Death or Dishonor expansion. So, we are going to be, well, we are Communist Yugoslavia, we're not enjoying the common term yet, but we've gone and flipped over. At the end of 36 here, we've been playing for about a year. Currently justifying a war against Bulgaria. World tension is still low enough that the Allies will not get involved. The question will be, can we also get in on Greece before the Allies start to guarantee everyone? We'll see how it goes. We still have a big hole in our equipment. We're trying to produce as much as possible. Um, none of these guys are, like, green or inexperienced, huh? Mm, no. Um, it might still be worth, like, thinning them out just a scooch. But, I don't know. We'll leave them in there for now, probably. Let's go up to speed 5. We have some free manpower. That's not going to last very long. But, yeah. No no equipment. I don't suppose... Oh, I'm, I'm betting we can't lend lease from the UK. Uh, oh, yeah. We have to be in the war for, for that. Cause, or they have to be in a war. I think we have to be in a war together, right? Uh, oh, no. To request, we must be at war. So we can take a look. Most likely, they don't have the equipment. Because, um, of course, the USSR, they have lots of manpower, no equipment. We can modify government again. It's definitely the time to do it. Um, a couple of really good possibilities here. Obviously, there's a ton of stuff that will increase our tech research rate, which is always beautiful. Often, like, you're having an industrial concern early on. That being said, I'm tempted to go with a theorist early. Um, so that we can start to apply those, um, like the recon divisions. Although we don't have any equipment, like, there's kind of no point to get any extra XP. The increased, uh, doctrine research rate is nice, but yeah, the extra XP doesn't make that much of a difference. I think we'll grab a chief of the army with army offense over here, so we can attack a little bit harder, a little bit faster. Um, although we're, you know what, hold on. We're gonna have enough time to pick this guy up before the war starts. So, let's go instead... And consider switching economies. Be nice to jump directly to war economy, actually. We need... We need more world tension. It's got to be up to 15%. It's currently dropping right now. I don't need to do the volunteer... Or the, uh, the, um... Uh, conscription changes. I definitely don't need that. There's no other dudes here I'm interested in. You know what? I think we're going to grab the infantry equipment designer. Because... We can at least get this one before the war starts. Yeah, I think that'll pay off early on. And it's something we're going to want. We're going to want all these things... Um, and I know we're going to start researching that extra, that extra tech pretty quick. All right, let's grab that. And the next thing we'll do will be the, um, the offensive planner. And that's going to be A-OK. -okay. All right, you're expanding the mining industry, which is going to give us more resource production. Actually, we do produce a fair number of resources. In particular, you can see we go crazy for chromium and aluminium. And if we can get some more trading going on, that would be particularly nice. Uh, right now... Actually, there's a fair amount of that. Most of our civilian factories are maybe coming from some of this trade here, so that's going to be okay. Expand the mining industry, so we've got that, and then I'm going to develop military industry. We have three military factories right now, so that's going to double it. Um, there is something to be said about building the civilian ones first so that you can then use that to build up more, but I think for us it's going to be important to ramp up our military production because we've got plans for that. We want some early wars. I'm going to bring the revolution to Bulgaria. You're goddamn right we are. It's going to be fantastic. Infrastructure. What a, so what's... um. What's Romania doing over here? Army War College, all right. Um, strategic decisions, I don't even know what that means. Strategic decisions over here. Political power, oh! So yeah, you'll go to one of these. I mean, I assume you're gonna trust in the West. I think that's the historical path. So we'll see, who else? Um, Hungary's got some things. Yeah, reintegrate the railroads, all right. I think those are the countries that have new stuff in this expansion. <clears throat> All right, delay tactic done. Uh, I don't think this is going to be done in time for the war. And while it is very, 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 very nice, we're going to think a little bit more short term. For example, we're going to pick up the support weapons over here. More infantry defense and breakthrough is going to be hugely helpful. Um, so we're, yeah, we're going to pick that up. We should have a discount on that one as well because of our, uh, our what you call it over here. I mean, assume that weapons and equipment research time. I actually don't know if that covers that. you see modifiers? I mean, there's the there's this, but that's something else. 
I don't know if that counts as the weapon equipment. I think so. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't work out, but that's all right. Uh, yeah, so when's my order of justification? July. So we're nearly there. Two months to go. Develop military in industry. Excellent. So we've got a lot more industrial production. Um... We need to get rid of the Croatian opposition before we can go any further over here. So I think now is a great time for me to swing over and join the common term. I think that's going to be A-OK. -okay. Because then we can go down there and do that. Okay, international election, Hindenburg disaster. So again, these guys are just going to keep doing treaty with uses. Are their, their historical um, uh, national ideas, which is why I'm not going to be looking at them quite as closely. So the thing is, once we join the common term, there's a good chance that even if um, Italy develops the plan where they get some claims over here in Yugoslavia, they may not use them. It'll depend. Missing equipment production, complaining we don't have any fighters, recon company, paratrooper tech. Okay, that's good. Pause, 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 pause. Um, we don't need the MPs. We don't need the maintenance companies right now. Uh, we're not going to rush to this. We can get a pretty big discount to research in the mobile infantry. Um, we're going to want to go down that route pretty quick, because I think we can get a 75% boost to this. And let's see here. If we go to Army Modernization, modernize the cavalry, the YS-4403. Yeah, 75% research bonus for that. And it's not something that gets auto-skipped or anything, so at some point, there's a good chance we're going to want to go down there. And then, so we don't need that. We don't need Marines. Uh, we probably will want to do tank stuff, but we don't have the production right now, so we can wait. Plus, I mean, Russia's going to do some tank stuff, and we'll be able to get the shared bonus. I think we're going to pick up the interwar artillery bonus over here. So I guess this is interwar artillery. But we've got... S well, do we even have much artillery? Well, we must, because we have a shortage of it. I think that our infantry starts with the um, artillery support. So if they had any guns, we'd be able to give them the bonus there. But the problem is, they don't really have... The artillery so i'm not sure that bonus is worthwhile i think probably what we're going to do is actually we'll go back to picking up this doctrine that's going to be okay um because we know the soviet union aren't going down those doctrines so we're not going to be getting a shared tech bonus there later on anyway we might want to get the f the new fighter sooner rather than later um oh it's 37 hold on 37 we can get industrial techs construction speed I'm going to replace mobile defense here for a second. We're going to pick up the concentrated industry over here. So we've got two 50% boosts as well, so that's going to be particularly nice. Um, you can finish the sport weapons, though. That's going to be really good. All right. About a month and a half away to our war declaration. Everything's in position over here. All right. So our, our strength's gone up a fair bit. We're still missing um, guns, support equipment, artillery... But things have certainly gotten better. I have full faith that we're going to be punch, able to punch through here. That being said, modify government. Um, I believe, and I think that's still going to be the case, I'm going to grab the army offense. I'm then going to go and grab... Okay, did I get my transport plane? No. It's still being built, is it? Yeah, it's got its factory, but it's still being built. Okay, so... At some point, we're going to go and grab one of these guys and turn them into, or maybe a couple guys, and turn them into the paratrooper divisions. They're pretty small divisions, uh, but that mostly means they'll send manpower and equipment back to the pool, uh, and then we'll get them to, to drop in on the city over here, unless we punch punch in on its own. Amelia Earhart disappears. But that's the idea. So hopefully we can take Sophia directly, um, and then we'll see. This is a river here, right? Yeah, right along there. Join common term is done, so the Soviet Union will get a request for that. Um, and I'm going to grab the form the Federal Republic. We're going to get rid of those those terrible ideas ASAP. It's also going to allow us to unlock some things. Excellent. Soviet Union welcomes us. That's wonderful. World tensions only at eight percent, which is great. Boom. Justification is done. So I think we're going to declare war without um, without waiting. We don't need to call in allies, although I suppose we could. We can always... I mean, why not, right? Sure, let's do it. Boom. Execute the battle plan. Going on speed four. Excellent early victory here. You're getting attrition. Well, we're getting attrition too. 
Despite the fact... Did we ever get the... Uh... Oh, you did actually get the infrastructure. Let me bring the infrastructure repair up a little bit over here. That's going to be okay. How's the aircraft support? New view here. We've got... Oops. Um, we've got a total air superiority, which is great. So if we look at any one of these battles, they've got the enemy air superiority penalty, and we're pushing in quite well. So I will be justifying a war goal over here. We're going to need... How much for this? 46. Okay. But yeah, we'll do that. I'm willing to bet we can get a war goal, a war justification against Greece uh, before uh, before the Allies get involved. So good push. Quite a few little fronts over here. Uh, the urban fighting is a little tougher. There's a, an advisor we can get for urban fighting, which is an interesting idea. You're attacking into me. So they'll reinforce. But yeah, your job is going to be to try to grab Plodiv as quickly as possible. Da, 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 da. So you're just defending, defending, defending. Same thing here. Just throw extra dudes in here. That's a big priority. Sophia's about to fall. If, as soon as we take Plodiv, then uh, we will be... Uh, that'll be it. That'll be the end of Bulgaria. Because we'll have 80% of the war goals. Ba -ba -bum -bum. I know that's not how it's pronounced. Deal with it. Support weapons done. So a nice little boost here. Uh, it's still 37. We need one more industrial tech. Blammo. Excellent. And it was 46, right? So, again, it doesn't really matter what the war goal is, other than the fact that it's going to impact what we get as a peace deal. Um, like, we'll get a priority for some of these things. Uh, I'll just go ahead and ask for Thrace. It, do it literally doesn't matter for this, I think. So it's going to lead to a little bit more world tension, but I think we'll still be low enough, unless, depending on how soon exactly things break out in... Uh, in uh, China, Japan, I would say. We're even pushing to the other side of the river here, so we'll get a good surround. So yeah, I won't need the aerial forces, which is nice. Construction is done. Concentrated industry is done. Uh, I'm not looking to grab excavation, although, I mean, we do have enough goods that we would get a pretty substantial boost. The other thing we are going to be short on is oil and rubber, especially rubber. So the synthetic oil might be good. Is it time to start on that? Let's pick this. The reinforcement percentage actually is really helpful. Um, I know I'm going to need battlefield support as my air doctrine. You know what? Go for the artillery. It's going to be fine. We'll get to the front. We're going to wait. There we go. Until that push happens. And then all y'all are going to help do this as soon as possible, because as soon as they break, we win. You're going to reinforce attacking here, but so your job will be to do something like that. I realize it's a river crossing, but more fronts, more good. I mean, you'll be defending here first, but that's going to be okay. Ah, uh, so we're justifying... Oh, Romania! Hold on. Romania is guaranteeing you. Really? Okay, cancel you then. What about... Let's do this instead. Oh, I don't get my points back when I cancel the justification. Oh, poop. That's annoying. I suppose I could have kept going. But... Shit. Now well, that was a waste. Sorry, guys. Let's go up to speed 5. Finish this quickly. Yes, no, maybe so. You guys are probably out of juice. You're not really, though. Like, get in there. Come on. You can get it done. I have faith in you. So planes are still flying over. Okay. Ah, there we go. Done. Easy. So we are going to uh, dick all states. In turn. Done. Oh yeah. So we get some extra factories. We got all kinds of things. So you guys are going to move over to. Uh, oops. Why, why did you end up doing that? I must have accidentally dragged dragged slightly. So you're going to do this. Um, I guess you're going to go... I guess we can just say something like that. That's going to be fine. You're going to be advancing that way. I don't really know if you can do cr advance across the river over there. Let's make this a little thinner. What advance would you look at there? You're still looking to advance across the river there. I'm quite surprised. So this is just change it to focus on Budapest. Maybe I'll do that. This... 
There you go. They'll still go, but not quite as aggressively. Okay. That's going to be fine. So that's the combat plan. We got some extra military factories, though, which is great. Um, still short of quite a few things, though. Uh, we still don't have our first transport plane, so I'm going to keep that there for now. Uh, so we've got two extras. This, that, then just to be ready to soak some extra demand, something like this. We're going to want quite a bit of artillery later on, especially with the uh, the plan we're going for, so I'll throw that in. Um, at some point, we're going to want to start making fighters, too. We want the new tech, but we didn't lose a single fighter, actually. 96 when we started? We still have 96, because there's a short call, short fall of uh, 304, because I set the reinforcements to 400 over here. Uh, so you're going to go to here, then there, to the northern Balkans. Same sort of battle plan. That's really nice, actually. And we'll just wait. World tension still surprisingly low. I don't know if we're going to get any resistance over here. Resistance map mode, like literally nothing to say about it. All right, good. We did soak them in, so that's good. So you're to inform the Federal Republic. That's going to be excellent. We're getting some good tech over there. Beautiful. So we'll have to see what goes on with uh, Romania. I actually don't know like what it's going to be. Are you guys being guaranteed? You're guaranteeing the independence of Greece and Turkey. But I could just get... I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to change things now. Okay, form of the Federal Republic is great, because it gets rid of a lot of horrible, nasty penalties that we had going on there. Now we don't. Um, defense and cheaper leader costs. I don't think we've got to rush that. That's fine. Research collab is nice, because you do get the discounted research tech, but we still only have, right now, three research slots. So... And we still have some manpower, although it might not hurt to grab the local militias now, because it would suck to run out of manpower mid the next war. No, we're going to get the University of Zagreb first, because this is going to give us 33% more research. And I don't think the research collaboration will equal that much. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Because the research collaboration will give us, depending on how many common term countries have a tech, will give us, what, 5% for each? So I think there's a good chance we'll get, like, up to 25% bonus with a few. Um, but that's 25% overall increase as opposed to 33%. So better to get the research slot first. Mm -hmm. Plus, we may not be researching everything that's got a discount. So in practice, I think that the, uh, the mutual research thing won't help us that much. We'll want to grab it, just not quite yet. Bum, 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 bum. So yeah, you're ready to go. And oh, there we go. Justify war goal. Um, world tension still quite low, which is good. Um, can we get counts of like factories or anything like that? Oh, we need the intel. Oh, there are at least four factories. At least six factories. Just in case it matters, at least three. So I guess we'll ask for the um, the far state. That would be kind of awkward. You know, we'll just, we'll, we'll make the, um, the thing on this. So we get a little bit of world tension right away from starting this. But I don't expect that you'll get guaranteed. Mm -hmm. So then we might have to sit for a little while. We might have to sit for a little while because I don't want to start an early war with the Allies. Probably? I mean, things are going to go historically, so Germany's going to declare on the Soviet Union and... I can't remember when it happened really and when it will happen in this game because it can vary a little bit, but 40, 41, something like that. I feel like it's something like that. I might I might be on the crack, though, so we'll see how that goes. What are you doing right now? Tactical air effort? Yeah, you're going to be fine. So we're going to try to just grab as much territory over here as we can as quickly as we can. Yeah, it does suck that we got slowed down and wasted some political power on Greece, not noticing the... Um, the guarantee. Maybe we should have just done Romania first. And you could even bring in the USSR. They're a hell of a lot bigger, right? So that actually probably would be better. Oh uh, well. So uh, we're going to go down this route so we can get the Serbian steel. Because I suspect, yeah, we're really short on steel right now. I don't think we want to start importing any right now and, and spend some civilian factories. Um, we're going to get 16 more from the Serbian steel and that's going to help the Japanese build up. 
flames. Yada, yada, yada. There's our research slot. Okay, so you're all good. You have to wait. You're all good here. You've got that. Hmm. Oh, and Doctrine. Go, go. Excellent. Chinese United Front. Okay, 33% world tension. Ah, shit. Okay. So, they they are now guaranteeing the, the thing. So, I mean, we can, we can... I guess I'll keep it going. But we're not actually going to be able to justify any more wars. So, that's as far as we were able to get... It's a little unfortunate. I was hoping that maybe we could get a little bit more trouble started. Is it at 25% that they can guarantee? I don't know if there's an easy way to like be able to tell when they can start guaranteeing. And I, I don't remember. It might be at 25% they can do it. So, the Chinese war. No, we could have been a little bit faster if we'd done things a little bit better. Or maybe we would have turned uh, communist a little sooner. We would have to sneak something in there. But no, this is the conversion rate, which I don't tend to do the, the conversions. Doesn't seem that worthwhile. So, probably not do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the the fighter one, because that would be quite nice. I mean, I don't know if we're going to be able to dedicate a lot of uh, production to the new fighter tech, but still. Radio is done, radio is done, so we can't do that one yet. Uh, radio, we, we will want the radar towers to cover our territory, so we can go ahead and grab that. That's going to be fine. Um, and I will go ahead and start researching over here, because there's no time limit on that, so that's going to be A-OK. -okay. At least moving around. They're not fabricating on me or anything. Just guaranteeing Albania. There can be some awkward wars over there, but... That's going to be okay. So, I mean, already we're in much better shape, I think, than Yugoslavia was in the actual World War II. Uh, where their divided country was kind of in a rough shape going into it. You're complaining because we're not producing what? Tanks? Yeah, it is tanks. Or short 16 tanks. Out of, out of how many, actually? Which one of the tanks? Oh, the uh, Steyr Stutzen, I think. Uh, so you're still fighting at pretty high strength, so I'm not going to replace you yet, so that's okay. Um, and we do have positive infantry equipment right away. I think part of it because we did capture some equipment over here, which is really nice. So we could pad out our forces a wee bit. Not tons. Free civilian factories is nice. And we don't have the anti-air. We could go and get some extra um, infrastructure here. I don't think so. I think what we're doing is we're building military factories. And we'll just go ahead and pat out uh, Serbia for now. It's not really worth building infrastructure to make the factory building faster. The infrastructure is too expensive for that. But if you're going to build infrastructure somewhere anyway, it might be good. I mean, we might want some on the Greek front. Um, I might want some infrastructure on the western front over here to be able to um, saturate it with a little bit more raw number. And I think that's probably what's going to happen. Um, so let's go and increase our capital. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move Serbia's infrastructure a little higher up in the queue so it happens before it starts building its military factories. So that it'll give it the extra production speed and that's going to be handy dandy. So we're not doing this, apparently. So do I want to move my troops around? I mean, yeah, in some fashion, but but to do what? I think what I'm going to do for now is I'm actually just going to put them on garrison. They'll just go and, and occupy important points. Just wherever, and then we'll be able to respond to any sort of development relatively quickly. I don't think there's going to be a war that breaks out anytime soon. Not anymore. We're just going to have to sit on our hands until people get busy. And probably come at me, bro. Um, I do expect something to happen over here with the Axis relatively soon. That's okay. Uh, we're gonna. We definitely want to pick up Serbian steel. I mean, I'm confused about something. Oh right, that that was the university. I'm like, didn't we already expand the university? Right, but we can expand it instantly again, which is probably worth doing. Um, I'm going to take the research collaboration first. 
because most likely what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to research things we have a boost for. So I'm going to unlock that first, then go for the slot, and then we'll see a bunch of things we have discounts. On Schluss of Austria, so now we have that shared border. Air innovation, fortification. Um, Hungary secures Romanian support for rearmament. So I'm going to... Uh, mostly fascist, yeah. I'm going to lodge a diplomatic prote protest. German pressure. Okay. Mm -hmm. We want friendly relations. Yeah, I'm sure we're going to have totally friendly relations. I have no doubt about it. It's kind of annoying to build a front right now because because they're not in the same faction um, and we're not at war. I, I'd be building fronts with individual countries and I find that kind of awkward to set up. I don't know. It might actually be smarter because we know there's nothing that's going to start in the south anytime soon, right? So if I did something like split you in half and do this... Uh, and then take this one and split it in half again and do that and say I'm gonna put you on that front I'm gonna put you on this front because they're fascist and I'm gonna put you on the German front and that's probably a better idea it still does that thing where if you select someone who's on garrison duty it'll like leave the garrison view so like I usually just hit F2 F1 like I go to naval view and then back to ground view to clear that uh, we can modify government, have been able to for a while, so I'm still not worried about changing our volunteer laws. Um, but war economy, that's what we want to do ASAP. Much faster construction speed and less consumer goods. It is the best economy. Total mobilization gives you a bigger bonus, but no recruitable population. So we're going to go ahead and do that. It's one of the things you want to do as quickly as possible. And we didn't literally do it as quickly as possible, but we did pretty okay. So that's fine. Yeah, I probably could have done that last time. But there we have it. Uh, we need world tension for it, didn't we? I think that was true. Did I look at it and we're like, right, we need... No, oh, it doesn't show me anymore. I think there was something like that. Uh, questions, Hungarian... Sovereignty. Oh yeah, we're still fabricating the claim over here just because... Whatever. It's fine. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll still... Nope, not a front line. An offensive line. I always do that. Just to say. Research collaboration is done, so now you're going to pick up the extra research slot. And again, here, we'll just do a token like, yeah, we're going to totally push up to Vienna. Easy. No problem. And then over here, the Italian front. I mean, we may as well get some sort of planning bonus just for the sake of whatever, right? Low manpower. It's funny when you have, like, such low manpower, it doesn't tell you, hey, by the way, you're not you're not uh, training anyone. Like, yeah, no kidding. Training someone right now would be kind of dumb. We need more artillery. Our, uh, um, our, uh... Infantry equipment's good, actually. I'm going to go ahead and bring this down like that. Because a lot of these were newer, so they didn't need the efficiency. Um, we are going to get quite a bit of manpower once we do change our laws. So banking the extra um, infantry equipment is fine, because we'll be able to recruit a whole lot more later. You know, that's amazing to me, is in the multiplayer event, at this point, like, war had been raging like crazy. Uh, for a while. I think, like, the war between the Axis and the Common Term had triggered over Poland already, and there's never any time to build up your, your initial infrastructure. Also really makes a big difference to take Bulgaria. A uh, good amount of factories over here, and we got some equipment out of it, too, so that was good. Formation flying is done, radio detection is done, so we're going to take a quick look around to see for things we've got to discount. Okay, the resource extraction at a 25% research bonus because of our shared stuff is probably worth picking up all of a sudden. Hopefully we'll still be trading away a fair bit. Um... I guess if it's worth getting one, we may as well get both. I don't think I'll go any further than that, but I'm going to go ahead and get both of those. It might enable us... Well, probably not, because we're not actually trading away literally everything, right? Although, part of that is our trade laws, so maybe if we get a little bit more... I don't know. I'm not going to do the math, but it's probably fine. We'll go ahead and just do that. Um, we're still short on the sheet of steel, right? Because I haven't done that. We will be getting some of that. There's our justification, but we're not going to start the war because... They, it's interesting, because they're, they're... Well, they're not aligned. So I guess I could choose. If I were to declare war here, we'd be in a war against the Allies for Hungary. No, that's, that's silly. We're not going to do that. Oh, the Icarus is done. Excellent. Wonderful. Uh, I don't think we're going to be going for any bombers. I don't think that's in the cards. I don't think we're going to get naval bomber. It'll be a nice little way to gain naval spirit over a little sea. I really want close air support, but I'm going to wait for the discount. So I'm going to be looking for things that I have the discount. It is 38 now, so... Oh... Are we getting a 100% research discount when I get that idea? I should grab that national idea yet next so that we can... Um, that's our plane. Uh, so that we can get... Um, words. So that we can get the big discount for mobile um, 
the, the, the mobile forces, and then we can get, like, the logistics and the hospital uh, support thing, which would be handy-dandy. All right, folks, thanks very much for watching another episode. See you next time.